Hey, what's up everybody? It's Igo Fishing, and I'm bringing you a simple video. Uh, basically, a big question in the fishing community for a lot of beginner fishermen is how to properly use circle hooks. Uh, my cat. Uh, a lot of new fishermen uh, don't understand the difference between J and circle hooks and how to use each hook in the proper manner. So, this is an instructional video to uh, teach that, or at least attempt to teach that. Um, so we're gonna go right into the video and um, hopefully you learn something from this and uh, you know you catch more fish in the future uh, if you could please like subscribe and comment below uh, any questions any if any any techniques you want to learn or you want me to show out be so happy to show them um, let's get to it So a lot of fishermen are learning the importance of circle hooks and how circle hooks can serve and protect game species like striped bass and bluefish. Um, the purpose of a circle hook is to, when the hook sets, it catches the corner of the mouth of the fish, which in turn is a, is a, is a strong hook set and also an easy uh, place to remove the hook and quickly get, get the fish back into the water. So in order to do that, you need to rig up your circle hook correctly. Uh, with a J hook or your standard J hook, you can find them in any store. Uh, uh, here's a picture of one. Um, with your standard J hook, you could use really any knot, a clinch knot, a palomar knot, really any knot that connects a, a leader line to a hook and it will work because you're setting the hook on a fish. Uh, you're, you're, you're putting strength into it, you're, you're, you're attempting to lodge the hook into a, the fish's mouth. Compared to a circle hook, a circle hook, um, with the way it's designed is meant, to, as I said, to catch the corner of the mouth. So how do you do that? You don't set the hook like you would a J-hook. With a J-hook, it's a strong set. With a circle hook, it's more or less a slow sweep. Slow but strong. And when you feel the fish pull back, you keep slowly sweeping. What happens is, I'll show you right now. So what happens when uh, you're slowly sweeping the uh, circle hook, it's not, a, it's not a jerk, it's a slow sweep. You're slowly just pulling it equally. Nice blue fish. Look at them yellow eyes. They're back everybody. Make a circle, make a circle. It's lodged in the, the corner of the fish's mouth. Okay? Compared to a jerk, which I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to do that. A jerk, it may set, or it may pull out. That was scary. I didn't know that the line was caught in my fingers. That could have been bad. I'm keeping this in the video. So by allowing a slow sweeping action to take over your hook set, you're pretty much guaranteeing uh, a hook set in the corner of the mouth. Now, is it 100%? No, it's not. Uh, spe species like striped bass, they don't bite their food. They swallow it whole. So sometimes you will, you know, hook them in the throat or maybe gut hook them. It, it's not 100%, but if you follow the technique, you have a better chance of safely releasing your fish. Okay, at the end of the day, we really want to preserve our fish, future, future fishermen, and, you know, uh, keep the species safe and the populations good. So, uh, going going into rigging, you could use any knot you want for a J hook. Any knot you want. Uh, what you really need for a uh, circle hook is like specifically a snell knot or any type of uh, knot that wraps around, which is really just a snell uh, <laughs> that wraps around the shank of a hook, and that's a snell knot. Okay, the snell knot allows equal uh, equal force to be uh, 
pulled along the shank, which will, which will ensure that the, the, the hook moves the direction you want it to without rolling, without, um, you know, turning and, and not allowing the best hook set, which, which when the fish turns its head will be the corner of the mouth. So you really want to use a snell. A lot of fishermen are not using snell knots on their circle hooks and it's costing them fish and they don't understand why, why am I losing fish? Well, one, you could be setting the hook to like you are a J hook and you're not allowing the, the circle hook to do what it's designed to do. Or two, you're not using a snell knot and it's, it's the, the hook is being pulled directly at the end and is being pulled out the fish's mouth. So it's imperative that fishermen start using snell knots, snell, S-N-E-L-L, snell knots, on their circle hooks to ensure better hook sets. Um, I, in the video below, I will uh, put a link to another video that shows you how to do snell knots. Uh, it's how I learned. Uh, and I, I hope that you catch more fish in the future and catch the, the biggest fish of your life. Uh, with that being said, uh, like, subscribe, and comment below. And most importantly, stay beautiful, everybody. I go fishing out.